Today I show you how to disable the notifications on your Android phone. This is Android 14, but this will work on older Android phones and the future Android 15 and Android 16, but it might be a little bit different on older Android phones. And I will show you now how to control the notifications on your phone so that you don't receive too many notifications. It's okay to receive one or two notifications, but once you get too many notifications, it gets confusing and uh, already the Android 14 has really good features to group notifications for apps. So you will not see many, many rows here. You will not see lots of rows here. You will see for each app one small section in the notification screen. So this is the notification area on the lock screen. And you can also have a notification dot on your apps. You can also have notification bubbles. I have another video about to disable the bubbles. So I won't go too deep into the notification bubbles. I have another video for that. If you want to watch that, I could link it below. Ask me in the comments if you want to know more about the notification bubbles. So to control the notifications in general and to enable and disable all notifications on the phone, you can actually disable all notifications or most of the notifications by going to the settings and you have these notifications section. You can control notifications for apps individually. You can see notifications history. Control the bubble notifications in another video about that. Then then device and app notifications. So here you can choose the apps that you want to receive the notifications from. On lock screen, you can choose to show silent notifications. On the lock screen, I hide it. I don't remember, I think this was a default setting. So if it's a silent notification, I don't want to see it there. I choose to show sensitive notifications. This might be notifications with a OTP or a passcode, something one time, one time code that's being sent. You might want to disable this so that you have to unlock the phone to see the notification. I keep it like this for convenience. And then you have the setting for here. You have the setting for flash notifications. You can actually the camera could flash. So let's preview it. That was too quick preview. That's basically turning the it's turning the flash of the camera into a notification LED. If you know the Xperia phones, this phone used to have a little notification LED, but they removed it. Not gonna go into that too much. It can also flash the screen. When you get a notification to flash the screen like this, for this is for accessibility, I believe. And really, if you are very busy and you want to make sure you get the notification, you this is an option. I don't use them. I don't use this. The wireless emergency alerts. I have another video for that. You can change the settings there and the hide the silent notifications in the status bar. I don't want to see a notification if it's silent and you can also allow to snooze them. I don't really need that. The notification dot is on the app where it shows you a little dot and enhance notifications different are adaptive based on the app and it will give you actions. For example, mark a message as read or some other things inside the, the app to make it more usable. You can control the app from, from outside from the notification screen. Like you see the notification here and it gives you an option to quick reply. For example, you can do a quick reply or a, a mark as read or archive delete quickly from the log screen. There was the privacy notification there. I have it enabled because it's pretty useful for me. So you can set the notifications for apps individually and I can enable or disable notifications for each app if I wanted to. You can disable the notification generally from here completely like this. And there is no more notification. At your request, Android is blocking this app's notification from appearing on your device. This, this is what you want. And then each app will have different groups of notifications. You can change the settings here how you like. And uh, 
for music, for example, I can I can change the notifications. Uh, for the phone, you can't disable the notification because either it doesn't send you notifications or you have to receive or be able to receive phone calls. And there are some options that could be disabled here. The voicemail and notification dot, this could be disabled, but not completely. Google Maps also, so each app will have its own notification settings, but you can always disable the notifications just like that generic from the app. I went to the notifications setting, but you can also do this from the app settings. So in the main screen of the settings, you tap on apps. Here, for example, I could click on Chrome, tap on Chrome, and you get different options for the app to control the app, but uh, there is a section for notifications inside the app. Then you get to the same screen. I can disable notifications or enable them. This is at the app level, but you might want to disable notifications completely and then you set. So I'm in the notifications just to go back quickly. So open settings and go to the notifications section. And here on general, under general, the group, under the general group, do not disturb. You can use do not disturb and this will turn off notifications for most of the apps. You can choose persons in your contact list who should still be able to receive, send you notifications. And also you can choose apps. So I will turn it on now and nothing really changed, but the notifications are off. And there are people who can interrupt, do not disturb, and also apps that can interrupt. If you have an important uh, contact, you want to add them so they can disturb you if needed. Alarms also can interrupt. There is no schedule. You can set this on a schedule. So, for example, I could uh, have this as a schedule from uh, 8, 8 p.m. until 7 a.m. So I have this timer, it's the name doesn't matter, I can use the schedule, choose which days and the start time and end time. And the alarm can override the end time, because you might want to wake up earlier if needed. And now this do not disturb is on a schedule, it's running on a schedule. Now in the settings I have the do not disturb set to on, it's active. And I have one schedule that will turn it off at 7 in the morning. Actually, I don't want to use this. I might turn it on and off however you, I like. Sometimes I use this, sometimes no. But when you want to have a moment to focus on what you're doing, you can turn on the Do Not Disturb. And then you don't get the notifications too many. And also people, if someone is calling you, if it's not... Uh, in the allowed contact list, they will not be able to call you. You can also allow people to call back multiple times to go through if they call two, twice or three times. Let me know if you want to go into more detail for that. But this is in general to how to disable notifications for app, apps individually. But if you want to disable for all of apps, all the apps, the do not disturb is really the best option. You can turn off, turn on and that's it. Thanks for watching.